Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Today is the Scrappy Fabric Snippet Roll Challenge Update. And um, I'm basically, right now, I'm doing an overview of um, the snippet rolls that I have. And um, just to show you a different uh, idea that you can do with a snippet roll. It's a really cool, like, a felted type project. So last week I shared how um, I make snippet rolls out of master boards and I highly recommend watching that video actually all of them um, the playlist of this challenge is in the description area below you can start this challenge at any time this is really a great prep project for upcoming uh, projects side project and a scrap buster project it's also a great way to explore um, different methods and techniques when uh, working with snippet rolls. And uh, so I'm really excited about how this is turning out. October, the first week of October, October 1st, is the last in this um, series, this challenge. So, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop making snippet rolls. Um, I'm continually making them because I use them so much in my projects, including making bowls and uh, quilts and things like that, vessels. And uh, so it's a lot of fun and I really highly recommend it. So what we're going to do today is um, I just grabbed um, a few things like I made a uh, weave snippet roll and I do have a video on that so this is gonna be a lot of fun and I haven't uh, folded these down yet uh, so that's a fun uh, snippet roll and it's gonna uh, have a bit of shape to it and then I have a um, a jute one too and I need to finish painting it I might wait and I need to go ahead and choose the um, the uh, the base, the fabric of wh of what I'm going to put it on, probably. So that's um, a really fun project to do for snippet rolls as well. As far as yardage goes, oh my goodness, um, I probably have like maybe 15 yards, I think, 15 or 16. I need to go back and count it again I do and then I need to um, I'm gonna connect all of these to these and I do show how I connect them and connecting them is just a temporary stitch I just want to keep them all together so yeah there's a lot here that I did and like the previous week and last week's video um, and there's so many ideas that uh, you can make with these, <laughs> so many projects. So I'm going to put this aside. For th okay, so here's another one, and a lot of you have seen this. Now this is, um, I'm not taking like scrap bits to make this, just a, well actually a little bit because I use some of it to couch down. So I'm making a yarn bowl. And this a lot of embroidery, French knots, couching, stem stitch, back stitch, running stitch, and I'm using yarns. And uh, I'm actually getting quite close to being done with this piece. I just need to fill it in a little bit. And this guy is going to go really fast. I already started putting another row of sky on this snippet. So this is a super fun project. I do have a playlist of my process on um, this snippet if you want to check it out. I make all sorts, different kinds. I need to fill that in. Um, this is why this, I think this is taking me so long is one, I'm working on other projects. Two, um, this is a lot of sewing and um, I need to rest my hand quite a bit. It's not hard to sew through this with yarn. It's just, it's labor intensive, I guess you could say. <laughs> so it's super pretty and it's going to be a vessel. I was saying bowl, but the height and everything and the way this is, this snippet was actually so much longer and so much wider. 
but it's still, it's looking good. I can't wait for the next step. So it's pretty tall, actually. Um, let's see, it is, well, uh, actually, I need to turn it around. So it's about three and a half inches tall. And I'm going to give this to my aunt. I'm making it for her. She lives, has um, front like property. And I thought she would really like this. So it's going to be great. So if you definitely are interested in making something like this, check out that playlist. I'll put it below. Okay, so I have not shared this yet. I was going to wait. This is another project that I'm going to be hopefully starting on this channel. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet because this is quite a process and it took me a while to felt this and um, let me show you what I'm using so okay what we're doing I'm t I just took some roving yarn took some felt and this is gonna be it's gonna turn out to be small um, it's gonna be like this so a basket really it's a felted basket I guess what we can call it and I'm trying to do some I'm gonna be doing nature themes on this and um, I'm a mixed media artist so I'm gonna be taking different elements and things like that and adding it so what I did was first you just cut your felt and I have this green felt by the yard that I got on sale and so I cut it and what I do is when I felt something like this you just take your roving and I do it in small strips and it took working on it off and on for about maybe I would say three days to fill this felt it down so I just um, kind of did this a little bit just divide it up get it to the um, to the wispiness I guess you will just dividing up the roving to how I want it and uh, so I just kept working on it and then f it's a lot of felting so you need to take breaks and then I just kept laying it down and I got my felting board and just kept I actually I think I broke like I want to say two needles felting this <laughs> I really did oh my goodness this but I was like, oh my goodness, am I ever going to get this felted? But I finally did, and it turned out great. So I cannot wait to start working on this. I did add a little French knots right in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring the French knots all the way across. And then I'm going to fill it in with turkey work and some, like, I have... Um, when you go into like a fabric or a craft store, they have usually have a garden section and I'll pick out like flowers and like, um, gosh, lots of different, like little pine cone, like, you know, like nature-y garden stuff. Um, also you can pick out like shells, like little tiny rocks and things like that. And uh, so I'll probably be using some of that to decorate this um, snippet roll. So here is what I got so far. I know it's looking a little rough. But you might be able to see how I'm, what I'm doing here. And I'm I am building a little uh, texture and depth to this. Now I'm not going to build, I'm not going to add a whole bunch of yarn and fabrics down to build it up like I would normally do, but I am going to add with the garden stuff that I add, I, that will already take care of that. So um, I really, th this little bit right here took actually a while to do. <laughs> So super fun. Look how it's already 
look how good, look how well that is um, standing on the surface here. It's actually pretty good, isn't it? So if you want to try this, I highly recommend it. Um, I, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to these videos because October we are making a box, a snippet box. So maybe um, what I'll do in November is start showing like a little bit of my process and how this is um, evolving. I might do that. Um, and I might do like a little demo. I'll take like a small portion of fabric and show you how I'm how I felted this. So I think it's going to be really pretty. I have no no idea how long this is going to take. It might take uh, I don't know maybe six months. <laughs> I don't know. It just depends on how how it's going. So anyways, but uh, this is just a really quick video update and I really want to encourage you to uh, uh, do this t challenge and because uh, there's going to be a lot of projects and I really like this one too. That's going to be really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet but I do want to go in and do some like little stitching and add some color and stuff to this one. Lots of lots of projects on the horizon. Okay, well I hope y'all have a great Tuesday and you got some ideas from this video, especially this uh, felted one and um, this yarn yarn snippet landscape. Um, these are super fun to make, and uh, they make wonderful wonderful gifts. They really do. So, okay. Well, I will see y'all tomorrow. My best to you and yours. Bye for now.